Hey there, Wargamers. Uh, back again. Uh, two videos in one week is uh, kind of unprecedented for me for a little bit, uh, especially given the hardware complications. But you guys really responded to the uh, the Battle Systems terrain that, uh, that I did an unboxing for. And uh, there has been quite a few requests to actually see it being put together, just to see how easy it is to put together. Uh, so I figured, why not? This uh, this gives me an excuse to to sit down, build some more terrain, which I got to get done for for some local events anyway. But uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're gonna do some quick filming now. I'm gonna do two formats of this film. Uh, one of them is gonna be uh, about a half hour. That one's gonna be this one or so, where I'm just gonna sort of try and build as much as I can uh, in a half hour's time as possible. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I can very easily get carried away with this one. It could probably go for a long, long time, and quite frankly, nobody wants to sit through and, and watch that long of me fumble around with, with cardboard terrain. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna be with me as I punch it out, as I as I assemble it together. Um, I'm not used to doing those types of videos, so I will try to keep the conversation going a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that one goes by. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that video and I'm going to try and edit it down to maybe a quick 10 minute segment, get rid of some of the, the useless in between chaff type stuff and, uh, put that one up as well. That way, uh, hopefully you'll have some options on which one you want to view. Now, obviously the longer one's going to get out first because less editing is going to be required for that one. But, uh, either way, hopefully both of them will get up and you'll be able to check out both. So without too much more, let's get into it. All right, so jumping right into it, as you can see, I got a whole bunch of tiles here. And once again, this was all just the, the basic level of the Kickstarter. Uh, I'm going to start off with something easy uh, that I've already put together some things on. Uh, you already saw them in the uh, in the unboxing video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to just put together some of the I'm going to put together one of these, the wall panel here, I guess. So we'll get those uh, punched down. And uh, everything is is nicely labeled here. Let's just get that glare out of the way if we can. Uh, everything is nicely labeled on the sheets themselves, so it's actually pretty easy to get it all put together. And you know, already I'm going to be able to display something that I've noticed a small problem with. You got to be careful when punching it out because you will sometimes tear off bits of the uh, bits of the actual image on it. Uh, and this is something you can avoid. I was just being a little. A little hasty with uh, with trying to do that so so yeah just keep that in mind so I'm gonna just start with this here and this one's kind of cool it's got the uh, it's got the perforated edges here so you can just, just slowly bend them I'm gonna try and do a much better job this time not get as much wrinkles so just a nice gradual bend as you can see there we go and this is this is where this terrain really comes into to play. That's how easy it is. It just slides right on, which is fantastic. And a lot of the time, the you don't even have to do much for it. It just it just ends up being nice and snug. Sometimes you have some pieces like the the wall panels, which sometimes they're not as tight. This this time I actually got kind of lucky. But that's quite literally how easy it is to put together some of this terrain. Uh, that that was all of what I think like 20 seconds, so so yeah, nice, nice, quick and easy. I mean, a lot of this stuff, and this this is the scatter scatter terrain stuff. Uh, a lot of it is actually really, really fast and easy. So I'll show you about putting together a chair here, just again because it's nice, it's quick, it's easy. So again, you got your grooves, and and this one's going to be a little bit difficult. It's going to be very difficult. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this one. Uh, looks like it's some of the. Some looks like it's folding up a bit. So let's see if we can actually get this on here. Okay, so this one's coming back and biting me in the ass a little bit. Not quite as as easy. There we go. So, the, the some of the paper was folding up a bit. That's what made that one a little bit more difficult. And then we just put the the cross bracket on the bottom and uh, one thing I've been learning you want to make sure that these pieces down here always always line up because uh, otherwise it's gonna end up being off balance and you know, as you can see there I actually put it on a little bit wrong there so get it on make sure it's nice and balanced and that way you have a chair that sits 
nice, simple, easy. So lots, lots of fun. Uh, let's go with one of the console pieces here. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. and I do promise there will be some more, more in-depth building happening after this one. I just want to get something small and quick out of the way. So again, you have your your little pieces here. You almost your horseshoe type pieces. And uh, all of a sudden, I got to remember this one. It's the the console piece slides on just like so. Oh, that's the wrong console piece. Ignore me, I'm doing things wrong. There we go. Nice big console piece. Just slides on like that. Now, one thing I have learned with this with this terrain is um, you got to leave Herc at home. I've I've found that there's been a couple pieces that I've inadvertently bent or done a little bit of damage to simply because I've pushed too hard to try and get it to fit, and uh, that's always bad. But if you're just if you're patient and gentle. You'll get it all done in no time whatsoever. And just like that, we have a nice little nice little computer console. So boom. So we'll just put that with the rest of the stuff right there. So that's some of the easier things that we can put together. Um, I haven't played around with any of the crates yet, so I'm reluctant to, to start punching those. But uh, yeah, you know what? Let's put this aside. We'll do stairs in a moment. And uh, let's... Uh, Let's make something else here. Let's, there we go, there's some, there's some walls. Let's do something with walls. So we'll put those down. We'll put these down as well. Here, I'm just gonna take an extra sheet just to have it kicking around. And we're getting to the point where we're gonna start needing these little clips here. And uh, I'm really digging these clips. They're, they're really great, they're versatile. And uh, I've just enjoy using them so far. So I'm going to start off here. I got a whole bunch of walls already, already punched here as well. So I'm going to steal some of those, uh, just some other pieces here. Now this is another really nice uh, feature of the terrain itself. You got these windows here. You can actually leave them in, make them used as, uh, I guess, sort of like blast shields or just things to block line of sight, or you can just punch them open and you have a window so you can actually see into everything. So in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to punch them open because you just watched me do that. And I'm just going to make a... A nice small room, nothing too big. Uh, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna start with we're gonna start with the door piece here, and I think I'm gonna punch this door out as well, just so we have an entryway. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the we're gonna use that as the basic size of it. So it's for the for this equate uh, for this I think that's about four inches. So basically we're gonna we're gonna make a uh, four by four room. So we're gonna take one of those pieces slide on like that and then we're going to go grab another one and slide on like so so as you can see this is this is so so easy and then we'll take the window pieces and that slides on like that and already you can see that it, the interlocking feature is actually really nice it's it's already showing quite a bit of stability uh, which is really good. I've I've been playing around with these a little bit, putting various models on them, and so far they they hold up really well. Like obviously you still need to you still need to bracket them a little bit, make sure that they have their that they have uh, all the support they need, because uh, you don't want to you don't want to inadvertently put too much weight on it and have it all come crumbling down. But generally speaking, like you don't need a lot of these clips. I found for the most part. Uh, when it comes to support, one, maybe two clips does the trick, and that's that has been fantastic. And, you know, here we go. This this was, what, maybe a minute in construction, and we have a nice little, a nice little 4x4 four four room uh, that we can play around with. And, of course, you can, you can go further into it. You can, you can stack, you can stack stuff on top of it. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. We are going to, we're going to grab this piece right here and, oh, geez, yeah, see, got to be careful with these things. I, th I got lucky in these ones and that they're just the grooves, but, so we're going to do that. And the nice thing about this is that everything is already fitted really well. So you don't have to worry too much about uh, too many, too many brackets uh, to keep everything together. Like as soon as you build the walls on this, 
you're going to find that uh, that it's it's already pretty sturdy. But but you know what? I want to do a little bit more. I don't want to just I don't want just that room. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one bracket like that, and then we're going to just slide that in right there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to add a little gantry way, which I've already, I've already had pre-popped here. And we're just going to slide it in like so. And then we're going to start building the walls. So in this case, let's, uh, let's put another, another door there. Just because it doesn't make much sense to have a gantry without a door. And this time I think I'll leave the, the blast shield in. And uh, let's see, does that work the way I want it? No, it does not. Now this is one this is one place I've been trying to figure out is like what uh, what works where and sometimes you get little grooves like that that just don't work so I think in this case what we're going to do is we're just going to take this piece off reposition it right there and this is actually kind of neat because this will this will showcase just how versatile a lot of this a lot of the, these clip based things are because you'll find that even with that everything will still actually will still actually fit and be supported and uh, just to just to prove my point I'm gonna grab yeah here we go nice nice sister of battle model we're just gonna put her on there right there and there you go she's actually being supported and this is this is one of the pewter uh, canonist models so there's definitely some weight to it um, I have some heavier stuff kicking around, but I don't want to risk it just in case. But so there's that now. Yeah, so there you go. As, as you can see, like it's not a perfect mixture of uh, of everything being leveled up. So I think what I'm going to do, is we're going to take this off again. We're going to try something else because there are so many different clips here. We are going to see if another clip will do the trick a little bit better. So we're going to grab one of these cross clips and we are going to do the same thing we're gonna put it down there I fix that right there and to keep everything level we're gonna put it like that this time around and then put that down there and all of a sudden you have it just lines up a lot better now and that one clip is actually doing quite a bit just to keep everything nice and uh, nice and sturdy so we've done that, and uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we want to do a little bit more here. So let's. Uh, oh, I know what I want to do. So bear with me one second. I'm just gonna go grab another piece that I've already assembled. So here we have an elevator lift thing, and this is kind of a this is kind of a neat piece because it actually grants some some alternate ways of getting up on your building outside of ladders and uh, and uh, stairs. And they actually built in mechanics to, to allow for this. So they actually have these special clips here, which, uh, da -da 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 -da, if I can get them off here. And the neat things about these ones is that all you have to do is just slide it on like so. And then you can, let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh boy. Uh, and then you just slide it. Oh no, I'm forgetting how to do this already. I just did this yesterday. I'm already forgetting. So let's try this again. Yeah, I think, I think I am forgetting how to do this properly already. Now, of course, don't, don't use my stuff as gospel. There are much better much better guides put out by battle systems that you can that you can check out online uh you know what I'm, I'm faffing about too much with this so maybe maybe at a later date i can show off more of that so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to building the rest of our second floor here so and again it's just like before you just take your clips and find a wall you like so many different panels and just slide the clip or slide it into the clip boom like so done awesome fantastic and let's just quickly polish that off and uh, maybe try and build something a little bit more complex going forward 
So let's just get as much of this done as I can. I'm just going to steal another wall piece that I already had punched out here. Do, 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 do. Now, of course, once you get around to this side over here, you might want to put it just another another bracket in just to keep everything nice and secure. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm just going to slide a piece in there. And one thing that I, I really, really enjoy, and you're probably seeing it right here, is that it's very easy to actually modify these uh, these designs as you're building them, which is, that, that was definitely one of my bigger, bigger concerns uh, going into this, but it's it's ended up not being a big deal, which has been really fantastic. Now, oh, so I'm running into an issue at this point. I'm actually starting to run out of these little cross clips here and I have so much more terrain to build. So I'm going to actually have to be careful about this. Uh, I'm probably going to have to uh, start building some different designs or dismantle one of the existing buildings I've done, but that is not a problem because this is still the learning process. So let's just grab another one of these pre, uh, pre-popped doors and we'll just put it in like so all right so what we're gonna do now is we are going to add some stairs because you need to be able to get up there and our elevator kind of failed so we're gonna get those stair pieces out do, 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 do. there's that and then we have our stairs themselves and again, this is all just so easy to work with, which has just been fantastic. I, uh, I so far cannot get over how, how nice and easy this is and just how useful it is. And as someone who has spent years in this hobby without getting his own terrain, this is, this is kind of a nice thing to put off my bucket list because I, I spent so much time gaming at, uh, at hobby clubs, at games workshops, uh, and then I mean, of course, there was my time at mini wargaming and whatnot. So I've I've always been spoiled for terrain. So it's just kind of nice to it's kind of nice to to have my own stuff at home now, just because I went for so long without it. So as you can see, the stairs separate into uh, the two railings and then the actual steps themselves. And we're gonna see if we can get there. We go. Now this one I had a little bit of pro problems with when I built my initial one. It uh, keeping it lined up was was a little tricky. Yeah, as you can see, pieces coming out like that already, and I, I struggled a little bit with it. And I don't know if that was just the way I built it or what. So I'm trying something new. I'm just making sure it's getting bracketed at at both sides right off the bat. Now, of course, because this is cardboard, you can always go in and just apply a little bit of super glue and that will, will go a long way to helping everything just stick together. I've, I've done that with a couple pieces. I don't want to do it with too many because obviously one of the, the big appeals of this terrain is the modular nature of it. Being able to, uh, to take it apart, put it back together and use it for various things. There we go. And this was definitely one of those pieces where I realized that, uh, got to be careful you don't want to go too hard on it because you can start warping it and damaging it and again that is the last thing you want to do with this stuff not that it's terribly expensive but you know you, you got to wait for it to come in and battle systems is in the uk so there is going to be a bit of a wait you're possibly looking at import taxes and everything so it can be a bit of a hassle so yeah so as you can see i mean that's that's sort of how it's supposed to look but uh Obviously, I, I mucked up somewhere, and the stairs are not quite, not quite straight, and yeah, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there. The stairs are just definitely not straight there, but you know, for the for the purposes of this video, it will do the trick. So, uh, gonna find my clips. So, we've got the clips here, and we're just gonna grab one of these, one of these pieces, and let's just. Install the clip right. Uh, actually, you know, let's install the clip on this side just to add some stability. Like so. And like so. And now all of a sudden you have access to the second floor. Which is great. And what I'm going to do is, just to make it look better, I'm just going to take this piece right here, which I had on an existing piece, and just slide it in like that. So now we actually have a walkway up to a small gantry way that gets you access to a small little office 
and you know just for fun boom there is a uh, nice little nice little terminal display in there just add a little bit of uh, a little bit of flair so that is that uh, let's uh, let's put this one off to the side there it goes and uh, got about eh, about 10 minutes left on my my self-imposed deadline here so let's do something a little a little bit different here uh, da, 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 da. oh do I want to try that yeah let's 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 try this reactor chamber I don't know if I'm getting into something a little bit heavier than I can than I can handle at the moment with the pressure of filming but let's let's give it a try because this is definitely one of the the cooler pieces oh just knocked down some scatter terrain there and there's some reactor struts I love how everything is just nicely labeled on this. There's no, there's no question as to what it is you're you're punching out. As long as you're paying attention, it's very easy to ensure that you have the right pieces going, which is which is really really nice. Because one of the one of the worst things when dealing with building terrain or even building models is terrible instructions. And I have I have been in this game long enough that I have encountered models that are just too difficult to build or just really awkward to build so we got another one of these pieces that as you can see it is perforated so what we're going to do is we're just going to slightly bend each one here and be very careful with these ones because the last thing you want to do is bend them to the point where they cannot bend any further and it looks like yeah so this might be a piece that we actually we actually want to glue down Got a trusty super glue there. And let's see what I can do here. Yeah, so you get it into a shape that sort of makes sense. Looks like it's a hexagonal shape here. And bend that one a little bit more. So let's just apply a tiny little bit of glue here. This is a terrible applicator. But it's all I got at the moment. And then we're just going to glue it on and hope for the best. And I don't know if I have another reactor piece, so hopefully I don't screw this up. But, oh, and you can see back here, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You got to got to be careful with bending it together. So while we're just letting that, letting that sit, what we're going to do is we're just going to grab our reactor struts here and just put them put them onto our reactor itself do, 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 do. and I have a sneaking suspicion that I should do something with these I'm just not entirely sure what at the moment yeah I'm not actually I'm just looking at the reactor struts and I'm wondering how this actually fits with with the uh, with the piece that I'll be putting in, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, there's actually little grooves here. Okay, excellent. I did not catch those grooves. Fantastic. All right, so let's take these off actually for a moment and do these one at a time. So we got a we got a groove and a groove. Oh, that's excellent. So this is a piece I was actually kind of dreading doing, and now I've just discovered it is super simple. That's great. Okay, it's super simple for most people, and of course, knowing me, I'm just going to bugger it all up. There we go. Because that is what I do. I bugger things up at times. And just get another piece in. And the last piece, right there. there we go. And of course, now I'm realizing in my grand ability to bugger things up, I've buggered things up. Because as you can see, I should have should have done things a little bit differently. Get one or two pieces on, and then go back and and start doing some more. Sorry for the the shaking camera here. It's Again, limited hardware op uh, options that I'm working with. 
so unfortunately everything is just being done on a on a decent decent phone but still it's a phone nonetheless yeah I'm buggering this up good there we go I really hope there's another one of these pieces because I have screwed this up nicely it just does not look good there we go there's that done and then you have this piece right here and you can actually see grooves in the top here that uh, oh it actually pops down if you really want it to so I guess the way it works is you pop it out and oh see that would have been helpful to know that uh, has something to sort of help you help you form it it looks like but but of course I did not notice that at first and I did things the hard way because that is what I do things the hard way everything is always the hard way but there's that and as you can see there's this last piece right here and what we're gonna do oh geez it's shaking a lot again and we're just gonna apply a little bit of super glue here and here and here and here and here just gonna make sure it's nice and nice and saturated and we'll just glue this piece on because this is a piece that we're not going to be taking apart now that it's assembled oh, uh -oh. there we go so that sort of works again I'm really kind of hoping there's another one of these pieces in here because I would like another shot at building one because this kind of went all pear shaped on me but uh, there you go, so there's there's another piece right there. You know, you can add the, the consoles next to it and you, you have yourself a nice little, uh, nice little objective marker right there or just something to aim for uh, in the grand scheme of the, of the game that you're playing. So I'm getting pretty close to my self-imposed half hour mark. So I think at this point it is gonna be time for me to, to call it. But, uh, but there you go guys, so it's, it's quick, it's easy, and it, frankly, it looks so good. Like just th that was that was what I was able to put together in a half hour's time, which is not too shabby at all, um, considering that I still have maybe twenty some sheets that I haven't even started punching things down at. Uh, not to mention I have all these other clips still going on. I uh, haven't even gotten to these these ones right here yet. These nice little sort of curve clips that uh, that will allow me to to make different styles of of walls and bends and different room sizes play around with different floor tiles and whatnot uh, and of course everything is designed to be used on on this uh, game mat here which came with the battle systems box so really really awesome stuff i cannot recommend this enough i don't think this uh, this is really cool things uh I think once I'm once I'm able to, I definitely want to look into some more of it. Build a nice full four x four table. Uh, they got some really cool stuff. They got some uh, Outlands terrain, which looks like it's just you know an old settlement on the edge of a colony type thing. They have a really cool hangar. They got uh, much cleaner galactic uh, uh, tiles as well, so it's it's a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit more upscale i guess um they also have some uh infested terrain which looks like it's you know it's something right out of uh right out of alien or aliens which again really cool and being the being, being the alien fan that i am uh, i'm a i'm hoping to get my hands on that at some point it would look great with my colonial marines and aliens on there but uh yeah so it's nice it's quick it's easy if you guys are looking for terrain of your own i i think this is this is a perfect option for for you to go out and uh, and jump on this, it is just it is just a wonder to work with. So yeah, so if I keep going with this, I'm just gonna keep singing its praises. So I'm gonna gonna cut it short at this point. So if you guys like what you saw, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, give me a like and subscribe is fantastic. Uh, even if you want to share this around, that that's great as well. And of course, I'm always looking forward to more more suggestions, more ideas, what you guys want to see. I will uh, I will try and do what I can to put it down there. I know battle reports is the big one, but I need to get I need to get an actual proper video camera for that one. Can't do it on a cell phone. Uh, whereas this stuff, you know, I've been able to do on the cell phone. 
So yeah, let me let me know what you think in the comments below. Give it a like, give it a subscribe, and as always, guys, happy wargaming.